Hey, Kevin. Uh, hey, Vanden. So, I've been thinking, uh, do you think that we're lazy? Well, I don't really know how you act, so no, no, no. I don't mean the physical sense. I mean, like, uh, do you think that we're just throwaway diecasts that are really just made for profit? Well, I haven't really given it any thought, but, I mean, it can't be just a coincidence that me and you are in the same case, and we have the same exact paint job. I know, right? That's what I've been saying. And our models have already been used for other diecasts. Yeah, but that doesn't really count since we're made in Thailand. Well, then how about the fact that I have some rust decaling from Jenny Toland, and you have some mud detailing from Mo Revlin? You know, that actually is a good point. Hey, and don't forget about me, I'm just a recolored pity. Yeah, Bryn, but everyone likes you. Yeah, except for us, I mean, you're the star of Case M, so just go away, okay? Ah, uh, fine, alright, I was trying to help. Jeez, that guy's getting annoying. But you know what we do have? What? Each other. Aw, oh, man, come on, that's so cliche. I'm out of here. What? No, I meant like a duo, like partners in crime, you know, the two background characters for Case. Come on, come back! Hey guys, what is up? This is Harky here, back again with the Nerdicast review, and this time I'm doing a double review yet again, this time on the Thunder Hollow car, Kevin Riven, and the Cotterpin car, Vanden Kerr. These two characters make up the pair of the newest background characters for Thunder Hollow and the Cotterpin in the newest case to the diecast line, Case M, and are featured alongside Bryn Imagir, the Taco Man Pity, and Metallic Rex Reveler. These two also sport a similar type of paint job, a turquoise or greenish blue I guess kind of like Jenny Tolan back there and of course both appeared in their assigned series so Kevin Riven appears in Thunder Hollow and Van and Kurt appears in the Cotter Pin and by the way with these new additions to the background character lineup Thunder Hollow now has four background characters and the Cotter Pin has six six so in total that means that we have 10 background characters in all for cars 3 and honestly that is very very impressive it's so relieving to finally not have a bunch of cars 3 stock cars or next gens being shoved down our throat i mean even though most of these background characters are kind of bland and generic at least mattel is pumping out something new so now it is time to review the packaging and let's do this real quick so that way i can bust these guys out of their packaging so let me just turn on my flashlight right here and now now let's go with uh, Kevin Ryman, of course, over here, and he looks really, really nice. Here he is in the package, and unfortunately, I do believe he does have an eye plate, but that is made up by a bunch of nice detailing on the side right here. As I mentioned previously, he is from the Thunder Hollow series, and then there is the icon of the figure 8 circuit. Here is the Disney Pixar Cars logo for 2018 slash 2019 Cars diecasts. Here is the back, and the bio reads, it's Crazy 8 Night at Thunder Hollow Speedway, and it says that in a bunch of different languages. And here are the other releases for the series, Mo Revlin, Todd Crash, Jenny Toland, wait, what? I thought she was a cotter pink car all right whatever and then blind spot here honestly that's really confusing but anyways now let's take a look at Vanden Kerr's packaging she looks really nice as well probably having a nice drink at the cotter pin all right so I am editing this right now and I just realized I called Vanden a girl it's a guy because Vanden was named after a Pixar employee named Brandon Kerr so that's unfortunate hopefully you guys won't be too mad at me because well, it's kind of wrong, but anyways, hope you guys enjoy, and keep in mind that Vanden is a guy. I do believe she does have an eye plate as well, but she does make up for it with a lot of rust detailing. She is from the Cotter Pin series, and the little icon right here is the sign that hangs outside of the bar. Here is the Disney Pixar Cars logo for 2018-2019 Cars Diecast yet again. On the back here, and yeah, I, that's what I thought. Jenny Tolan is a part of the Cotter Pin series, but anyways, friends of the late great Fabulous as a Hornet gather at the Cotter pin is what the bio reads and then here is a little image of the cotter pin sign which speaking of which it didn't show you guys kevin's uh, little image right here of course it's miss fritter pushing against sigler bill and patty wow i can't believe i forgot about that but anyways let's get on to unboxing these two of course brand new die cast brand new unboxing it is such excitement for me and honestly these two are such cool cars so let's get them out of the package
so these two guys are loose now and my thoughts um they're pretty good honestly i mean at the very least if these two didn't have eye plates then i would be totally on board with these two being released but that doesn't make them horrendous and how do we know that by taking a look at them in depth so let me get started on the review and let's start off with kevin riven so let's take a look at his front first wow ever since 2019 i feel like the expressions have really improved i mean look at kevin he looks so nice and really pumped up to be watching some demolition derby cars just banging each other for fun he is a range rover just like the text says and his grill and headlights are very very clean unlike his front bumper right here which is covered in mud you know because he's at thunder hollow and then he has a nice smile right there unfortunately kevin has a very very grainy eye plate right here and honestly it's very very noticeable especially because of the under shadow on his eyelids but I mean, it's okay. At least it does have a smile, though. He has some plain gray rims with some generic black tires. Nothing really too special going on there. You can see the bottom of his side is just covered with mud. Probably just from, you know, traveling across Thunder Hollow all day. Here are his two side doors with a rear view mirror. And then there's some metal detailing along with a little red light. On the top here are some hitches, I guess. I don't really know, but that's my best guess. And then there's some rust right here. Moving on to his back, he has some nice taillights. And there's some more text stating that he is a Range Rover and then his license plate reads C06-06W and that is basically it for Kevin here. His other side is completely the same as his left side right here. So let me just show off some other cars that kind of look like him. Here is Mike Lorraine, and as you can see, they are both Range Rovers based on the text right there. And I guess since we're talking about Range Rovers, I believe that Miles does closely resemble a Range Rover. I mean, of course, he's a little bit modified, but still. Though I do think a comparison between Mike and Kevin seems more suitable, so let me just get rid of Miles right here, and let me compare the two. I mean, they're pretty similar, as you can see. Nice uh, top right there. Same top, different expression, of course. Uh, one's more serious, one's more a little happy said right here same window placements as well uh not that much nothing really too different yeah, they're very, very similar, actually. Wow. Honestly, they do look pretty similar, except for the fact that one's glossy and one has some type of, like, matte finish paint. I don't really want to say matte finish because it's not really too rough, but it's not glossy either. But whatever, here's the pair of Range Rovers we have for now. And now let me just compare him to the other Thunder Hollow cars. Here is Todd Crash. And where is, uh, oh, there you go. Motor Turner. As you can see, oh, wow, sorry. But yeah. As you can see, they all look pretty nice together. Though most of them do have some grainy decals. I mean, it's okay. I don't really mind it too much. So now let's get on to the review of Vanden Curse. Let me just move these guys out of the way. And here we have Vanden. So let me start off with her front right here. Let's go. She is looking to her side, which is kind of new because most of the cars that I do review have their expression facing forward. His hood and top actually do have a bunch of rust detailing right there. A lot, actually. So you can tell that Vanden is a pretty old car. She has a nice little smile along with some mud detailing on the front bumper and then there's her big grill with her two headlights. Similarly to Kevin, she does have some generic gray rims with some black tires. The rust detailing does continue when you go further along her side and then here we have her nice rear view mirror right there and then her two windows and her two side doors. Now here's where things get interesting. Her two back fenders are actually in a different color than her main body. They're in a light blue color. That's probably because she had to replace them because they were getting a little too old so they're probably brand new. Although her back is covered with a bunch of rust detailing which speaking of moving on to the back right here you can see her license plate does read b12-18 um, and i think that's a b i can't really tell and of course can't read the top part because granny decals yada 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 here are her two nice tail lights and her little muddy bumper on the back right here not too muddy but still a little noticeable and that is it for vanden i mean Honestly, she is pretty cool. She definitely does stand out more than other cotter print cars, such as Jenny Tolan right here, who does also have some rust detailing as well. And while I'm at it, might as well bring in the other cotter print cars that I do have out here. Here is Bill Rev.
Rebs, and then here is Jen Tansadan. They look pretty nice together, even though Jenny and Vanden look a bit beat up. And by the way, when I'm thinking about some similar models to Vanden, I think about Michael Sparkberg, as you can see. They do look very, very similar, especially in the front right there. Although there are some differences between the two, such as their grill right there, or not the grill, um, the little bumper, the front bumper, I think the different lengths, but besides that, I think that they're pretty much the same. Not exactly, but close enough, right? So anyways, let me just bring in all the other cars right here, so let me just bring in Kevin back. Right there, they look pretty nice together, and uh, let me just get rid of you. Uh, so here we have Team Thunder Hollow, uh, Todd Crash right there, Jen Tansadan, uh, Jenny Tolan, and then Bill Revs, and then we can wrap up the review. We can put in Michael Sparksburg in the back, as well as Michael Lorraine right there, I guess. Kind of appears in the shot, but whatever, it's fine. Let me just make a few more adjustments, move Todd Crash right there, uh, trying to get everyone into the shot, but I think that will be it for this review. Thank you all so much for watching, and let me know which of the two do you prefer. If I were to choose, I would say Kevin, because I do like his box shape model over the slim model that Vanden's going for. But anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you guys did enjoy and stick around until the end. So, as I always say, this is Little Harky say ying, peace.